Hi there, Dr. A with another set of tips in two. We're going to talk about business emails. The first thing I want you to remember is that anything does not go when it comes to a business email. In other words, you cannot relax the rules. You have to follow business writing rules. They do apply to emails because your email can be subpoenaed in a court of law and it can become evidence and you may have to defend it. So that means you cannot relax the rules and put in emoticons, uh, shortcuts, no punctuation, not check your grammar, forget about spell check. Those things are critical to your email. So you want to be very careful of paying attention to them unless you're willing to defend your sloppiness in a court of law. The second thing you want to remember when it comes to writing a, B, a business email is that the formality of the email will always be determined by the level and relationship you have with the person you're writing to. And here's what I mean. If you're writing to the CEO of a company, that's his level. If your relationship is that you've never talked to this person before and it is an initial contact, that dictates that your email will be a lot more formal. Now, if you're writing to your subordinate who is down the hall from you and you know this person and the content of the email that you're writing about uh, is business related, that might mean that your email will be a little less formal. So there you have it. Tips and two for email writing. We will continue this discussion. This is Dr. A reminding you that we all have gaps. We all have writing gaps and we all need to close them. I will talk to you again soon.